Hello, welcome to Use It or Lose It, where I help you keep food out of the landfill and get every penny out of your food dollar. Well, as I mentioned in the last episode, it's soup season, and even though we're having a little bit of Indian summer here, I still love soup. My dad was a soup guy, man. He ate soup all year round, and I guess I get it from him. So today, I'm going to show you how to make cauliflower soup with only three, that's right, only three ingredients. And those three ingredients are, of course, cauliflower, chicken broth, or if you're vegetarian, vegetable broth, and Parmesan cheese. So the Parmesan cheese helps it get that kind of creaminess uh, that you like in this kind of a soup. And the cauliflower itself, once blended, is kind of creamy. Uh, so we're going to get started on that. So, so here's a perfect example of how to keep most of something uh, out of the landfill. So you can see this cauliflower kind of got away from me. It's got black spots on it. We're just going to cut those off. And there's still plenty more cauliflower left once we get that done. So I'm not going to make you watch me do that, but I wanted you to see what we were starting with and then how we'll end up. So stay tuned. I'll be back in a few minutes after I get this chopped up. Uh, what I've done instead is uh, the last time I roasted a chicken, I, I strained the juices and made what I love to call my golden cubes of goodness, and I've thrown a few of those in the pot to add to the store-bought chicken broth. That just gives it a nice depth of flavor from, you know, that roasted chicken. So we're going to move ahead. Uh, so I have chopped up that uh, head of cauliflower, so here it is all chopped up. It's just a rough chop because you want smaller pieces uh, because then it'll cook faster and it's easier to puree. Uh, so we're going to dump some of that in the pot. Anything that I don't use in the soup, um, I will go ahead and rice it and use it as mentioned in, in a previous episode. So here we go. And this time, I know it's all going to fit in the pot because I'm only going to put in as much as the pot can hold. And one of the nice things about this is not only do you not have to worry about having perfect florets, but you can also use those stems because they're going to get cooked down and pureed uh, so it doesn't matter. And it's a great way to keep from wasting, you know, parts of your cauliflower. All right, so I've dumped in a pot full. And now we're going to add broth to just cover it and you can always add more broth later so that you can adjust the texture like if you like yours thick uh, use less broth if you like it thinner use more broth okay and so now we're going to set that to cook and so this is going to cook probably about 20 minutes until the cauliflower is nice and soft because then we're going to puree it and add that Parmesan cheese. And uh, so I will be back once the cauliflower has cooked and you'll see the rest of the process. So stay tuned. Okay, so my uh, cauliflower has cooked down. Some of the broth is cooked down. I had it kind of high, so it's now at an appropriate level, we'll see how that goes. So we're ready to puree. So I'm just gonna bust out my trusty blender. And we're gonna put all that stuff in there. And the addition of those golden cubes of goodness has made this a very rich uh, broth. It smells so good, it smells like roasted chicken and it has infused into the cauliflower, which is exactly what we were going for there. I'm just gonna get as many solids as possible before I dump it all in. Everybody into the pool. <sighs> Alright. 
You want to keep your hand on top just in case, especially since there's so much steam building up in there, so you want to be a little cautious. So we're going to set this to puree. Okay, see, it doesn't take long when you got the right tools. So I'm going to give this a little taste. Now you may have noticed that I did not add any salt uh, into this part of the process because those golden cubes of goodness plus the uh, store-bought chicken broth probably have enough salt so didn't really need to add more but what do we always do? We give it a taste just to make sure. And I was right, does not need salt. Plenty salty all on its own. Mm, boy, that's good. So now I'm gonna dump in some Parmesan. So of course, you gotta like cauliflower for this. If you don't like cauliflower, you're not gonna like this soup because boy, does it taste like cauliflower. So, it's about a little over a quarter of a cup there. It just gives it a nice, creamier, nuttier kind of kind of taste. So, <laughs> give it another taste. And this is pretty thick. You can see how it's not falling off of the spoon. Oh my gosh, it's so good but I am going to add a little bit more broth. To thin it down a bit. And we're just going to pour that right in. like because I know it tastes good because I just did my little taste test. I'm just going to pour it right out of the blender into my bowl. Oh my goodness. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And now here, here's another thing. So I had uh, a box of what they call woven or wheat rounds. They're like butter, you know, off-brand Ritz crackers, butter crackers. And of course, at the bottom of the container was a ton of crumbled up because those things are so delicate, they just crumble like crazy. So I'm gonna sprinkle some of those on top of my soup rather than having soup crackers on the side. Just sprinkle some of that on there, you know, give it a little texture. Oh, and by the way, so in case you're wondering what I did with the leaves and the center stem of the cauliflower, these are going to go into my when I make chicken broth uh, bag of scraps. So I already have in there some cabbage leaves, celery leaves, uh, chicken bones, the chicken guts, uh, etc. So I'm all, you know, my bag is almost full, so I'll be making uh, more broth soon. Here's our beautiful cauliflower soup, the little bit of cracker crumbs on top. It's delicious, and as you can see, it's really quite simple to make. All you need is a blender, some cauliflower, chicken broth, and Parmesan cheese, and you have a delicious soup. So that's it for today, and I'll see you next time. Bye!